Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another electrifying edition of The Black Table. I'm your host, Olamde. And tonight, we've got a show that is hotter than a summer barbecue in the north. Mm -hmm. Now, folks, <laughs> if you've had the week half as wild as mine, you're going to need a seatbelt for this ride. We've got all the juicy stories from the past week lined up just for you, served with a side of sass and a sprinkle of spice. But first, let's dive into our main topic for tonight. We're talking about things that can make or break a relationship faster than you can say, I do. That's right, we're getting down and dirty, discussing the ultimate deal breakers for marriages and relationships, from leaving the toilet seat up to forgetting anniversaries. We're exploring it all tonight. And trust me, we've got some pearls of wisdom that will make you think twice before you swipe right. For all those guys who understand what that means. Of course, I won't be doing this alone as I've, I've got my, uh, should I call them Ami? Call them, uh, the boys call them, you know, guys that always speak the truth and make it happen. Yes, I'm not doing this alone. And uh, I don't really know how to introduce these guys because they're just special. They're out of this world. They're different when it comes to, you know, their takes on things and how honest and brutal they can be about this. But I'll be introducing the man to my left first. Uh, we call him a, a rich uncle for, you came, know, the best reasons possible. I came with my phone and styles yes. to take down notes. Take mm. down notes Once from again. someone who has the shared wisdom. The oracle. Mm. The oracle. The oracle. The man that, you know, yes. gives us something Deck, to take home. In today's episode of Deck Once Said. Yeah, Deck exactly. Once Said. And, you know. <laughs> What's today's day, please? Today's the 19th. 19th April Yes. 20, I have my notepad. Ready to, you know, take some notes too. And that brand, that phone brand, you know where to put your money. <laughs> <laughs> we are taking notes with your gadget. Rich Uncle, it's definitely lovely to have you in the house uh, yes, tonight. Yeah. Thank I came you. here to take notes. Yes, as yes. Always. And we would also be learning at the same time. Okay. And of course... Are you, you want to learn how to explore? I want to learn week. because, I mean... Everybody needs oh, well, a deck in their life. Uh, yeah. Everybody needs a deck in their life, you know. Uh, there's no fun fill Friday edition without deck. Thank deck, you so much for having me. We're deck right the here wise again. One. Deck the I'm not the a wise one. I'm also here deck, to learn. I'm just not I'm just not holding friend it. Of the <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm getting it into my head, you know. I'm just I'm really here to learn and I'm hoping that we can all have a good time. Yes. You know, you already know it's a beautiful Friday, of yes. course. You know the gang is in the view. Yeah, so the gang when is gang the is here, mm. you know, when the gang is here, yeah. And the gang mm. is here. You know. Yes, yes. And of course, finally, but not the least person on the show, is a man that he is so um, so more than just one man that they uh -huh. have to name him Gang. It's like a a gang of a three, of four, five, you know, nice. mixed, I'm you know. I'm here to learn from, <laughs> here to learn from the navigator, the, navigator <laughs> the explorer. explorer. He drives an explorer, yes. a navigator. Yeah. And Premium. I yeah. go. Look, ever good. since last week, I told him, make sure you record the show. And when the camera is focused <laughs> on deck, as Femi is taking notes, just make sure. <laughs> see, guys, sure see guys, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, you know. You've changed our lives. So much, you know. In a lot changed of ways. You've changed your life. Yeah. Yeah. Changed a lot of ways. Guys, you know, you come know, on now. Deck, I just want to say thank you. Because after the show last week, <laughs> I went to bed and I just, my mind kept playing. <laughs> You know, all the things I learned. <laughs> and, you know, right Rollins. now, I feel I feel like I'm 10 years older, older. because mm. of the wisdom that I that, took away. So, thank just you. Just one hour. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you. Thank all you. the viewers, get your viral paper. <laughs> <laughs> wisdom will be spilling out. <laughs> exactly. So, if I were you, I wouldn't go anywhere. I'll stay right in front of the TV today. screen. Ah. <laughs> I won't say anything today. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> all right, guys. So, so, I mean, grab... Your drink, settle in, get ready for a roller coaster and ride of laughter, insights, and even a few jaw dropping moments. Because here at the Black Table, we're not just breaking news, we are breaking boundaries. We'll take a quick break. When we return, the Black Table continues. <laughs> you always take the bill on the first date, second date, and third date. Bro code. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we dive into tonight's show, I've got to give a shout out to someone who keeps me looking sharp and stylish every single Friday night. That's right, I'm talking about the genius behind the treads that are done this fine figure. 
no limit stitches. Um, from the tailor suits that make me feel like a million bucks to the funky ensemble that keep things fresh and fun. No limits knows how to dress a man for every occasion. So thank you for keeping me looking fly and fabulous. And you know, I hope I'm doing justice to the look too. Now let's get the show on the road. No, but let's so talk guys, about no, 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 we are no not limits. talking about no, no, no. no limits. No, no. we're talking fair? about something. Is it fair wait, that we're all going to be here <laughs> and we're not going to take show off. never no start. Yes. Yes. Table don't scatter. And and <laughs> which one goes? Yes. No, 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 but I got you, I got you. Come on, man. Wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, in all fairness, for those who don't know, Rich Uncle no, no, has, has a that's very... That's everybody has now. Everybody, everybody has yeah. from me. Yeah, I know you're going home today with uh, He's in the car, don't worry. <laughs> oh. For the knowledge that you're giving us... You know, from what, from what has just happened now? You speak, speak out. Can you speak, speak out, man? Out. Can you see how Deck does... I went the portable way. <laughs> speak out. out. Speak out. Today's episode, speak out, <laughs> my people. And he Number went one. the portable way. So speak out is the Number first lesson for today. Drop. Number one yeah. nugget, speak out. Don't be hiding your mouth, speak okay. out. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. I don't even know where to start, but our first quick fire has been a bit um, in the news um, mm. through, through the week. Um, of course, it's... Uh, the ongoing saga between uh, Cora OBD. I was and hoping we're not going to go there. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. We have to go there because, I mean... Oh, she's um, back in the news again? She's back in the news and um, wow. for loads of reasons, of course. What happened um, this time, though? <laughs> her husband uh, um, put out uh, a video, and in that video, he was talking about how he found out that um, she stepped out on him five months into their second child's, um, you know, mm -hmm. Pregnancy and it was all you know crazy. Of course, she responded to it, he saying said it was that. doctored. Yeah, he, he said that. He said that. And he was showing showed, some, some yeah, WhatsApp yeah, chat he did messages, some messages that she like, was having like, with somebody know. that basically insinuated that they had had you know sex while she was <clears throat> with child. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, Cora wow. came out. She even did a live earlier on today. Yeah, uh, she came out to respond and be like, she's never cheated on her husband before. Yeah. Uh, the text messages were doctored. Uh, okay. He's a doctor, though, chiropractor. <laughs> when he said the messages were doctored, I yeah. was like, so she said that they were fake messages and, and so on. So it was just, um, that's why I'm like, I'm surprised he's Nobody back live in again. Yeah. Nobody live in America now. Yes, but yeah. she, 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 she comes home she comes now home. and then. Yeah. And so if, if the guy is lying, she can sue him for defamation now. That's Ex what, that, exactly. Those are but, part but of the, the things the that thing she was saying. This. But in all honesty... If it, she's not pressing, so let's... You know, you know, there, there was something she did. Let me tell you what the controversy yeah. for me is. The controversy for me is, if I can remember correctly, when this saga had taken place, can I say years ago? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's when the saga than... had taken place, I think there was a time where there's footage of, I think of her actually saying that she was unfaithful to her husband at some point. Oh. Yeah, it was during out. relationship. Yeah. So now when she posted this video coming back saying she's never cheated on her husband, a lot of comments were saying, you sound but, like you're lying, it's yeah. untrue, and whatnot. Ouch. Now, the funny thing is that if, if there are two ways to look at it. If the texts were not doctored, and they're real texts, yeah. then the husband has a point. If they were doctored to make her look some type of way, yeah. then she also has her side of things. Yeah. But the truth is, at the end of the day, they're no longer together, and the kids are the ones exactly. that are suffering. I'm, I'm exactly. really happy. I'm, I'm happy about the fact that you talked about the, the issue of, you know, there, there wouldn't be, I mean, a reason for him to put up something like that yeah. if they're no longer together. Mm. If they're no longer together, what's the point of bringing out something that's that has happened in the past? Yeah. Especially you when what I'm the saying? kids... Now, let's, exactly. Now, mm. when, we talk about, when we talk about a doctored text message, mm. What exactly would be the reason for this guy, you know, to go through the rigor, the stress of well, well, doctoring she, she actually message just to defame her? Can, can I Why? Give, I'm, yeah, I'm, not, let's, let's I'm not in support of his actions, yeah. but the narrative that was placed on him mm. and things that were said on him okay. and recordings that they had had of him reacting to her back then right. insinuated a lot that made his own character question. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So exactly, once, yeah. whenever you get fresh evidence to mm. show that I was right in the past. Yeah. You just get the fresh evidence. So so from, from what I but understand. But that's been the social media. You from know, people, from what's media, going on, the from back that and video, forth is basically From that video, he said he, he, had that, yeah. that, he had that text a while ago. He just didn't release it. Hmm. Okay. Right? He was just re uh, releasing that text just to explain something that happened in the past. Yeah. So, now, after that, you know, message or that conversation, we then saw Cora dancing in front of another man's, uh, another woman's husband, 
you know, in their much more no bedroom. You know, there's, there's this thing in Yoruba, they say that Ujo, uh, Ujo Gate, Ujo Gate. What that means is that... No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> what that means is that, you know, that, you know, it, it doesn't look like, you know, it doesn't look like it, but it's, it, it seems, seems, it like, seems it. like it. Oh, okay. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, the, okay, so my so mom used to say, like my mom snake. used to say uh, this proverb, right? Let me teach you, jot that down. Right. Yes. <laughs> you know, that, you know, the, you talk about a, a man who yeah. is a, is who is a soldier who went to war, yes. right? Yeah. And this guy comes back and says that I killed six thousand men mm. in the battlefield. You understand? You will not you will not believe him. You understand? Right? <laughs> but imagine that he comes back and then he sees one chicken and he just steps on the chicken, ah, breaks the neck of the yeah. chicken. You know. Because he has said that he has killed 6,000 people and the way he that broke the neck of the yeah. chicken, you say, ah, no, this guy is yeah. a, 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 a badler, he's a killer. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So when you say that somebody has done something, right, mm. and then you see traces of things that look like the person mm. has done it, you begin at, to, at, to at read into it. Me, I'm of the notion that these people brought their, their lives and drama to social media. So that okay. is why they keep bringing it back to appease the social media. I, I don't think so necessarily because uh, Justin said a few Why make them public? So, so it's, it's very simple. Um, he's trying to get the custody of his child, um, his children, his two children with Cora. Mm -hmm. And basically, both of them have uh, some sort of evidence against why this person shouldn't have the custody of the child. Mm. You understand? Mm. So um, Justin had uh, been recorded a few times reacting. Uh, towards certain things and you know violently and of course he's like okay you know what if you find out that your wife was cheating on you and mm. well, all of that how would you react exactly. and so it's more or less like both of them are trying to gather materials for you know for court mm. and unfortunately i think that they should understand that anything that goes online stays online people will look for it and find it and their children involved so i think well, Cora I mean, even stated that, that yeah. she wanted to clear the air because her kids might grow up of to course see yeah, yeah. So, yeah. For me, it's, it's, it's very, okay. there's only one way to look at all of okay. this. Only one way. The Cora that we all know, mm. if that guy was lying, she would sue him for defamation because this is clear evidence. Like, you said mm. you have texts that never existed. Yeah. And if she's not going down that route, mm. okay. it's plain to see. Because in Yoruba words, they will say, what's up, Like, how can you come out with... Doctor text mm -hmm. that you know is not true mm -hmm. uh, in America. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's give both of them a benefit of the doubt. You see, the thing is, this they're talking really about on. children or no exactly. children. Exactly, they knew children were involved. Yeah. yeah, now don't forget that Cora at some point went to the UK recently. Or I think and she's still in yeah. the UK. She had this issue where somebody you poured know, some sort of substance, poured some substance on yeah. her face, and what have you. You see. When you do certain things, you need to understand that there are people who are online in laws. Mm. There are people who will take it upon themselves to Fine. inflict certain things certain on you true. because of true, what true. they perceive of, of you. you. Exactly. All right. And you see, okay, this this stuff has equally affected her her stay because she was trying to mm. put in for the uh, for the American stay. She also put that up online. I don't mm. know for whatever reason why she put it yeah. online. Yeah. I mean, she puts almost everything online. online yeah. You know. And she didn't get that stuff going like as said, well. Yeah. So you need to be very careful when you're What's dealing exactly, with people because exactly. this guy is an American citizen, right? Yeah. He can he can do all manner of nasty thing to her if he wanted to. Yeah. But I don't think he has done it. I don't know what it is that he has done, as a matter of fact. And I really don't want to dabble, dabble into it. But what I am concerned about is the fact that you know that there are children, children involved. involved. Yeah. Take adults, actions like with the understanding yeah, that children like must be protected. Mm. You, know, you know, the, the one thing that they both need to also understand is if you're going through a legal process, seek the advice of your lawyers. Let them tell you the right thing to right. do. Yeah. Social media is not going to resolve my, anything. My brother, it's you see, it's very danger. hard. It's, it's, yeah, it's very, sorry, uh, let me, sorry. It's very hard for you to control people who have influence on, on social media. Yeah, sure. They're definitely. usually mini gods. Yeah. They say, that's the truth. They're usually mini gods. It is hard for them to listen when you tell them, don't put this one online. Okay. Also, right. you know, so, you know what? It, it also goes with the saying when people say that nobody cares about the truth when the lie is more entertaining. More entertaining. And mm. these, these people keep entertaining us. <laughs> so we're waiting for season nobody two. Cares season about, two. Season nobody two is out now. Season two. That's what Hold everybody's that waiting thought. for season two. While uh, Okolu Afem is taking, taking notes from. Nobody cares our, about the truth if the lie is. When the lie is more entertaining. Exactly. Talking about people who do not uh, really send, um, our next.
quick fire is a very interesting one. Uh, Ruga, of course, uh, <laughs> sensational guy. You know, uh, he put up a tweet um, recently, and um, the tweets, you know, kind of caused a bit of uproar. And people gave their different, you know, ten kobo of red, and the tweet was deleted. Um, but then Rig, um, Ruga himself uh, retweeted it, and <laughs> yes, he, re he retweeted <laughs> it. I, and let me just read, read out what he retweeted. He said, "Do I call it tweet?" What's the X X X X? What's the X tweet? What's the X? What's he tweeted? Okay, thank you for the correction. So he said, I didn't delete anything, no. Just woke up and found out someone on my team deleted my tweet. They are paranoid. Then there's a ha ha ha. I go retweet Amo. Now, in his words, any girl where I carry go ilashe go shift bikini. No, the only content you can't shoot for here, yeah, baby. That's the original tweet. So, I don't know about, so that, from that's that's I'm, I'm sorry, where is Elashe? Elashe Beach. Uh -huh. You've not been there before. Bro. Okay, okay no, no, but, <laughs> no, but why did you say shoot bikini? I didn't like she yeah. was just a bikini or what? Okay. Um, you know, I, I think. You know what? I said okay, so, yeah, you fell right in. So, so Zainab is Zainab, right Zainab is one of the producers of the Zainab, Black so Table, by have, the way. Have, you, have your bikini been shifted at Elisha before? And she's giving she said no. a, yeah, she a, said no. a no sign. So, yeah. but Ruga says <laughs> any girl that follows him to Elisha. So, yeah. But I, I, I think... That's the man's bikini is true now. Okay, why, so why you, don't think, you don't think that's wrong? Deck, okay, okay, bikini shifter. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I, 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 you have it on record. He, as Deck is a bikini shifter. shifter. I don't even know where Elisha is. I don't even know where Elisha is. I don't even know where Elisha is. I don't even know where I really don't know where Elisha is. He's a bikini shifter. He didn't say Elisha. Ouch! Ouch! Gang! Okay, yeah, so you were saying... Gang, come on! Okay, let me... Let me... I'll leave I'll leave Deck to say his own piece. Okay, yeah. I won't lie to you. This is a very... For me, it's a very irritating stance. Oh, fantastic. Somebody like this that's in the public eye to make this kind of statements. Do you understand? Mm. Because basically, you're just saying any any girl that follows me to the beach yeah. should prepare to be. Um, I, can I use the word harassed, molested, no, or? No, 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 wait, 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 guys, 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 guys. Let me read it. Wait, wait, wait. For clarity's sake. Read it. For clarity's sake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me read it. Hold on, hold on. Every girl that follows him to the beach should just know that anything can happen. No, no, no. He didn't say any girl that followed him to the beach. Wait, 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 guys. Let me read this so that we all get this. Read it. Very clear. He said. Any girl where I carry go ilashe uh -huh. go shift bikini. Ilashe. Wait, 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 wait. No, be only content you come shoot for your baby. Meaning that there's some sort of professional thing going on. No, no, so because, because, yeah. no, 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 no. When it says content, you guys, you guys, when it says right. content, a con content could be a music video. Forget the content. Yeah. He's saying any girl I take to that place. Yeah. Her bikini. Will be shifted. And I'm even saying that even so, this is so guys, I don't know why you guys are thinking this. Is it is a sexual thing. Saying yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me. So let tomorrow, me. if you hear that your sister went to Elashe with, hold on. What will your perception hold be? On, why would she go to Elashe? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Lucas told us that he might be in Los Elashe, but my guys, guys, hold on. Guys, hold on. Guys, wait, hold on. Guys, hold on. It's not a Okay, let's let's calm down. Let's reach on. Hold on, sorry. Reach on. You might want to take note for this one. Yeah. The first thing is, oh, where see. actually is Elashe? I've never been there. I'm okay. not even kidding. I don't I'll know take where you there. Where is Elashe? I'll take you to Elashe. Can you tell me where? In Lagos, one of the beaches on, on the outskirts, mm. the one that you take a boat to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. All right, so this guy says that. All right, listen, <laughs> no, listen to this. He said, any girl where I carry go Elashe will mm. shift bikini. Mm -hmm. Let us look at it as simple as it said. Any girl where I carry go Elashe will shift bikini. He could throw her into the pool and her beginning with shit. <laughs> he can, the guys, I don't know why you guys are doing this. Oh, the diplomat strikes one. No, again. like, 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 <laughs> if it's, if, if, see. You're correct. Wait, hold on. You're so correct. there's usually a In lot context. of, there, yeah. there's usually a lot of people at the mm. There might be too many people. You know, they are fans. Mm. Now, Ruga is someone, he's a celebrity. He mm. might just be going like this now and the girl like this. Someone will just eat the girl. And then the shit. beginning will shift. <laughs> <laughs> you know these things. Let's not be taking too far. But now, like, if it, it goes for that, so say, no, be only content you go shoot for here, baby. Even added baby, like, like baby, like you, you know, my you rest, my girl. No, so you don't respect her. Come on, come on. I'm confused. So let's be honest. Yeah, Ruga knows who he is. He's a celebrity. Yeah, musician. He knows that women love him. 
mm. and he has said it here and yeah. now that any girl we I carry go Ilashe, meaning that if I'm saying, hey, babe, let's go to Ilashe, you already know what's on the table. Your bikini is shifting. So if your bikini is not shifting, don't come. What if, Why, she, what if she hasn't seen the tweet? What if she hasn't? She I hasn't seen the tweet. To, I want to believe that if he can tell the entire world this, he won't keep it from her. Mm. Let's be honest. Right. If he can tell all of us this, because it's not she's in her bikini. <laughs> if he can tell the whole world that. So she comes with her friends. Remember that. 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 Mm. A cripple properly, all right. Yes, that now, cripple will run before the war comes. comes. So he has you, already preempted you, you that, that if this you is what the this, situation this is. So, no, you ah, understand what I'm saying? So, do, you, you can't me, complain. It's, just, it's, it's very off putting to feel no, as if not, bro. it's not off putting that you won't make it off for it. You can't put you can't do Let me ask you, let me ask, let me ask you a question. Let bikini is not shifting. Hold on, gang. Let me ask you a question. Let me be honest with you. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather he doesn't say before? Then it does exactly. that. <laughs> Take. No. I would, exactly. I would, I would see. There's okay. some things. Listen. There's, there's this perception, for example. That's the reason why a lot of girls maybe don't go to a guy's house. They don't hang out mm. with guys. Because yeah. there's this perception that if you leave yourself alone with a guy... So hold on. Let me ask you a question. Oh. If a guy tells you that if you're going to come to my place, this is what's going to happen. If a lady tells you, him. No, if a guy tells a girl yes. that yeah. if you come to my house, this, this is, is going to happen. Yep. Yes. If he tells her so before he tells she comes, her. would you rather he, he does that or he doesn't tell her anything and it be, it, then he begins to ask for something when she comes? Okay, guys. But then you know she, has, she has the opportunity to say no. That's why he has told that's, the world. That's why I said it. That any, if I send you a tweet, but this is what I'm saying. Let me tell you the last Do you know the problem he's putting himself you know, in? Okay. It's because not a problem, now. A girl comes to Elisha and says, I don't want my bikini to be shifted. Then don't come with me. He now says, but I told you in the tweet. He says, I don't want. She has not given him that consent. So, so why is she going now? Does now? There, when we hear his case tomorrow, we'll no, talk about that's it. That's exactly why. Yes, okay, but that's why no, he said it now. No, but that's why I said so that tomorrow, if some girl comes and, and says, you know what? Oh, guess what? Ruga he deleted it and reiterated no, it again. He, he said he did not delete it. You guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so why is that what I'm saying? So that if tomorrow, one girl comes and says, Ruga shifted my bikini in Ilashe. We'll say, why did you go with him? But he said it. Because he has told everybody. But, but guys, that's it. Hey. So, 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 so guess what? If we see any girl We're just saying on that the boat with Ruga, we know your bikini is shifting. <laughs> but you know How that if anything be? happens in the future, right? <laughs> Ah. His lawyers can argue that he actually put he it out. Put it yes. out. And you know what? You I, know, I know. You know what? It's like we can't win it all, but um, my my opinion is very simple. And I have to play I don't his music think, tomorrow. I don't, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> yes, you have to play his music tomorrow. <laughs> I, I don't think uh, the no, statement think, was no, very matured. No, I think it's a great guy. It, it's put out there. I think it's a great guy. He's trying to be as honest, honest as, possible. as possible. Yes. So, um, and that takes us to another very honest and direct person. Our next quick fire is from um, uh, 18 Osa. Uh, she so put out a... Uh, my sister. A, yes, our sister. We love you, Itinosa. She put out a message, and I think it's something that is worth discussing here. And the message goes like this. With all the hungry, innocent children who are suffering all around, mm -hmm. we are still against abortion. Um, isn't abortion better than lifelong suffering? They never ask to be born into all this hardship. True. If your own future is not sure, why bring an innocent person to life that and is. you know the thing goes on about you're not disciplined enough to use condoms so in your selfishness you get wife you get your wife pregnant with uh, the fifth child you know just so she's just talking about being accountable and being responsible and you know it's all about you know what if you can take care of a child do you go ahead and get an abortion it's one of the most controversial discussions in the world even today in some states in the u.s it's it's legal while in some other states it's not legal and in nigeria officially it's not it's not legal in nigeria for you to have an abortion mm. so, yeah, yeah it's, it's not, not it's not uh it's it's a crime so it's something that um i mean this discussion will continue until my, you know my, we find, my quick yeah. question is do you have any re do you have a reason or do you have you tried to research the reasons why the states who have accepted abortion in, in the U.S. have decided to accept it. Yeah, you because know the it's, it's, they're all cultural reasons. 
people. No, not but exactly. not just culture. Not some, exactly. some some people have looked into ab abortion has been heavily discussed because people have been looking into ailments of child exactly, diseases yeah. that are passed along, the health of the they fetus. They also yeah. look at it from the perspective of women's rights. Women's rights, yes. exactly. A woman can have a choice to decide whether or not she wants to bring a new life into no. the world. But then at, at the same time, they've also looked at uh, criminal instances where women are forced into conception. So, or so those ones are the things. exceptional mm. cases. So apart from yeah. that, so for me, it's easy to come from that standpoint where oh. you're saying, you know, I, I've, I've said this for a long time, that having children is a very selfish act. Really? Yes. Having children can you, is can a you selfish say that act. again? Having, having children, children is a selfish, is a selfish act. act. Please, because you're that doing, is his camera. You're doing it. <laughs> no, but it is. You're not, you're not having kids for them. Mm. You're having it for you. Give me a reason why you want to have children that is not about you. That's about the child. Oh, my god! You want to populate the world? This is too much knowledge. So but, no, but, <laughs> the, no, the abortion case where you now say yeah. people should stop, people should be using condoms, when the condoms come into existence. But apart from that, the thing is, that for me, it's a you, case of that, saying... Is that a question? Do you want us to answer well, that? No, 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 but it's, it's a thing for, like, for me. To use sometimes I look at the fact that... Skin. That's like saying, okay, <laughs> why, don't, why don't we go on... Why don't we go on... Wow. And, and kill infants if yeah. we know that they're going to not live a great life in the future. Yeah, so I think no, I, so, I, I, what, I think so the argument that, is though. that not, not to bring them into the world at all, at all. rather than so killing what, them. At what, yeah. point, at what point is a future as a human? That's, 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 that's the first step. That, 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 that has been the abortion argument. But yeah. from her standpoint, she's like, with all the suffering going on in the world, yeah. why bring in more children? Yeah. So personally, I think abortion, the decision solely rests with the lady. Like... Why, why do you think so? Because she's the one going to carry the baby. But she's the, the man is responsible for the child. So, but although it does have a twist, because I've had to mediate in a situation like this where the guy says, I don't want, and the girl says, I'm keeping it. Yeah. I mean, it's all right to keep it, right? But the guy has told you from the word go that I don't want. Are you going to honestly expect him to be a part of the child's life? Because he told you straight off that, yeah. I don't want, right? And the girl says, I don't have an abortion. I think it's, it's quite dicey, but I think ultimately it's always a woman's choice. True, because true. She's the one going to carry the baby. Mm. I mean, so armed robber breaks into my house, rape me, and I have to have a living testimony mm. of the fact that somebody And that's even me. a worse case. So in, 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 in cases yeah. like that, you know, it's, it's justified. Mm. But I think it's just but a woman's right. Like woman from, from, what, from what she was saying, yeah. it's almost like. Okay, if you can't afford to have children, don't have children. Oh, no, those that those that can afford it should have it. And I think that's how so, no, but I think, I think it's I valid. I think that's how it should be. I think it's children, valid. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's valid. Let me tell you something. No, we said Let me tell you something. Yeah, the only thing we have talked about have it on this. Sex. Okay. Mazino said okay. it a number of times. The and I'll tell you why. Let me tell you. See, let's, let's you see, one thing you must understand is the fact that it's easy for you to say that, okay, let's bring children into the world. Yeah. But there are a number of things that comes up after that. I'm talking about post you know, giving birth to a child. Mm. Have you have you checked how much pampas is? Yeah, responsibility. Have you checked yeah. how much you know baby food is today? Now, this is one of the reasons why, if you move along, you know, the streets today, you realize that you see a lot of children. Mm, yeah. I have Not a friend. For, yeah. I literally have a friend that picked up a boy from the street, and she decided to take care of this child. Is in secondary school right now. She's taking care of him. This guy used. This boy used to do a lot of nasty things which is understandable because he's been exposed to all manner of ills yeah. in society yeah. Yeah. right now the boy he's the boy is getting better mm. now why would you want to bring a child into the we world ready to take you are not ready child. to take care of the child yeah. the, the, the child becomes you know absolutely something else I, I mean, you know on the streets of, mm. of, of you know but this, wherever, this, this, is, what I'm saying. Wherever. this yeah. is what i'm trying you know. to i want to try and understand children are a result of what the sexual activity yeah. yes. right so i should stop having sex no you don't have to have kids. But you can't my control it now. There are so many things. No, so we have family planning now, bro. Dude, Gang. family planning is for those that can plan. We're talking about poor people in the village. No, 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 but no, no, they no, are no, cheap no, family I think, planning. I don't think, planning I don't think we should limit this to just a you know, sector or you, whatever. You're, you're learning. Feel, you know what's going bro, on. There, I feel a five-year feel... gap between my kids. You know why? Five years. Because after I had the first one, I realized I'm more... This ain't no cheap. And you planned it. No, I didn't plan it. I sat, called my wife and told her that. I don't do it again. <laughs> like, family plan. Yeah. And when Children goes, are expensive. On the, yeah. uh, do you know how much they're you spend expensive. on a child from yeah. birth to the age of about 18? They're expensive. 18? You don't want to go there. Ah! 
Do you know how much? You, they, 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 you build a house but on you know a child. What, guys, I mean, you we, literally build we, a house on a child. The it's average, not a joke. That's we, what I'm saying. The average amount you spend on a child from birth till they're at least 16 or 18 yeah. is a minimum of 18 to 20 million. Let's not even go there. Okay, you know, it's, it's more than, uh, way more than that. Way more let me tell you something. So that, you see, yeah, let me tell you something. That, I have your status, friends. I'm I have you, friends who in the village. who have not given birth. Right? Mm, okay. They already have millions stashed, 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 stashed for children. For children, Bro, children not household, mm. not, not cow. Mm. Children. Okay, you see, so children's business is not a joke. It's not yes, a joke. I agree with you. But this is what I'm saying. You're talking to somebody that listen to how bad this person's life is. The person cannot afford. Ford condoms and pills. Family why is the person? No, right. Why is the person no, having and, a hard dog? Wait, no, wait, family and then, and then, it's free. <laughs> listen, it's free. Let us say that. Listen, that's for those that know. You don't get no, money. Listen, you get money. where did he get bets? No, so here's the thing. Like people always. You guys are talking. I'm sure your no, no. game is. Weird. No, no, no. People <laughs> always. People always hide under that. Um, this family planning is free in Lagos. Good. Yes, yes, it is. It is. It is you don't pay. Good. That's it's, the thing. It's just about family, making the right choices and being responsible. In Lagos. Yes. Yes. Giving birth in Lagos is like 12K. Good. Mm. In Lagos. No, mm. my brother. But maybe but it's giving birth is now free about, in Lagos. I hope you know so that. It's quality of guys. Lagos. Take it, either way, either way. I, think, so, I think this just boils down to making the right decisions uh, when it comes to, you know, having sex. And thinking the long route rather than just the quick graphic. Uh, I can graphic imagine. Food, I can imagine that I had, every, I had a child yeah. for every time but I came. We need to. Ah, move, we need, ah, <laughs> we need to move on to the next. Abraham, Abraham. Bro. You don't turn Abraham. Bro. We need to move to the next quick hey, fire. Hey, hey. Uh, final quick fire for this. Final of the world. And this one we're taking it from um, your view, the ladies of your view, had uh, something they discussed earlier today, and because it Our was bosses. coming from. <laughs> Our bosses. Because it was coming from a female point of view, I thought it's it would be nice to hear you guys, you know, yeah, give your yeah, take I mean, on it. Yeah, they give a way to clash yeah. with these people. But I know, okay. clash, okay. Thank God I, I know, thank God I know what I am not clashing, no. I just I want... I said somebody, those are I our bosses, they can't clash. To hear. You, like, you, you know what made it? So you know what made it open gate for you again? All right, so what? this is a quick fire. So um, it goes like this. My husband isn't concerned about me receiving gifts from men, meaning <coughs> other... Eh? other Yes, Hold on. my husband uh -huh. isn't concerned about me receiving gifts from men. He mm. believes that their admiration for me is a testament to his good care <laughs> of me. According to him, anyone who sends me a gift is acknowledging his rule as well. Okay, so now guys, two, two let's tear this apart. Before, there are two things there, first of all. Yeah. Let's not lie to ourselves. Mm. He's actually in denial. No, oh, she's this, this, this is from the wife, yeah. Either she's in denial yeah. or she's completely unaware. Okay. It's, you know, is it, is it's it right, is it right for so a married she, woman to take you, What she's gifts telling you is that her husband doesn't have a problem with people just constantly gifting her stuff. Yes. Is, she's either in denial or she's unaware. But, okay, gang, is it okay for a woman to receive gifts from other men? It's not a big okay. deal. It's not a, a big married deal. woman no, to no. be specific. I'm, I'm going to come from two angles. You yeah. always do. Right? You always do. Number one, it depends on the nature of the gift. Please, while you're coming, don't splash. Do you understand? Ah! I'm just saying, yeah. Now, this is not you splash. <laughs> so, here's the funny thing. It for me, it depends on the nature of the gift, okay. number one. Then the second thing is, if you're also okay with women gifting, gifting your, me. Uh, fantastic. Oh, so, it's a two-way thing Do you understand? Now, yeah. And then there's another angle. This is an extra mm -hmm. angle now. I, I only know two Are you okay with your husband? Gifting, gifting other, other women, women. Mm. and also gifting other people's wives. Wife. Fantastic. You Do just, you understand? Yeah. That's the denial part you're talking about. No man, if a man tells you that, you need to check what he's doing. Yes, the truth. No and man truth is about to come out. likes his woman but receiving excessive from attention other from other but people. It's very okay. simple. Okay. As small as it may be, we are men. We know what men's intentions <laughs> men are. Men are territorial. Yeah. They, okay. they got we know what that. men's intentions are. So that gift might be seen as, okay, yes, I'm a billionaire, and he's just giving you small change. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. But we know the intent behind some of these things. So it's better not to even entertain That's it. Right. Okay. Because like I said, are you okay with your husband Gifting other women, yeah. gifting other people's wives, mm. or gifting other people at random, and are you okay with other women gifting your husband as well? Okay. If you are, then it's okay it's for you to right. receive. So let me, I need to hear from So let me tell quickly. you something. I'm really, I really appreciate the fact that you, you know, you said that. But it's also very important to understand that respect is not just good afternoon, good morning, ma, mm. good morning, sir. 
Respect is understanding that you receiving a gift from another man is disrespectful to your husband, whether or not he likes it. Oh, oh, ah, okay, so you say it's disrespectful. It is important. It is, dis it is it. disrespectful. It is disregarding. So, what did she, I because, and I'll tell you what why. And I'll tell you, like, a, like a, <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on. Like I said, right, mm. in, in couple with what you had initially uh, highlighted, mm. you talked mm. about the fact that it's also important to note that the kind of gift that is, you know, is in being question, received yeah. Yeah. is also, you know, very key. All right? Mm -hmm. You can't say that because your husband is okay with men gifting you, a man buys you a car. What are you saying? Oh, what yeah. are you talking about? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. A man that buys you a car definitely wants to be with you. Standard. Mm. Mm. I don't understand the... I, 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 there, are you, are you a representative? Are, are you a representative of the president? Are you doing palliative? Uh, okay. Are you doing palliative? What are you doing? Are you doing, are you doing what are you doing? So I don't... Okay, you know, so, you, you, so, so regardless of what it is that... No, sorry, sorry. Regardless of what it is that your husband thinks, it is important to understand that you must respect him if so, you if a man gives so, you a phone that is ridiculous you cannot uh, okay so let's establish you know what he said you know what he said there eh? <laughs> there was a time i was having a conversation with my wife and we we're talking about i was like i was looking at some money coming in and i was like ah if i get this money i'm going to buy my sister a car she was like mm. oh really i'm like but i'm not going to buy it for i'm going to buy it for hours yeah and she was like what kind of nonsense i'm like if I buy a car and I give it to my sister, I've destroyed that family. That's oh, it. Yeah. And so like, what would you, why would you say that? That is I'm it. Like, you don't understand. That is it. That I don't want to know whatever is going on in their yeah. lives. Yeah. But the moment I come and say, okay, well, my sister, I take. Yes. I've just told the guy that you are not. Yeah, useless. Yes. Mm. Let me see. Mm. I'm so glad you talked about this stuff. You know, there was this. Uh, there was this post sometime. I think last month or so, where I think the brother of the bride bought the bride a car. Okay. and give it to the, the, the bride on no, the wedding day. Uh, no, and no. the guy, guess what? Where they were checking out the car, you know, the girl was like, oh, the friends of the guy. And they just literally just pushed the guy to the side. Straight. And straight I was up. just, no, in my up. mind, I'm just thinking, what uh, exactly is you this? Social media will tell you that the guy is insecure, but the yeah, honest I don't truth think... is, do not sow seeds Come that on will now. So, you know, Come the thing on. is this. Uh, recently, I, I think <laughs> earlier in the week, we had um, Ineke and Moses Isaac on um, the breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria. And um, they talked about the experience when they got married. Um, uh, uh, Moses, uh, sorry, um, uh, during when they got married, uh, of course, obviously, most people tried to bring fancy cars and all of that. And he said he had a rickety Volvo. And he kept telling his wife that, you know what, we're going to go with my car because these guys are still going to leave. But this is what I what can I provide. Have. This what is I what have, I yes. have. And then this is what we're going to you know, be taking. And that's a big shout out to those guys because they've been they've been married for about 28 years now. Wow. So sometimes Fantastic. I think from the very beginning, men need to start establishing these things Absolutely. and you know putting you know the the, the set guidelines like Absolutely. this is not how I want to run See, this there's family. Nothing, there's there's no way you want to look home. at it. I yeah. would always respect a woman that that would be with me whether or not I have. Mm. Right, whatever it is that I have, the little that I can gift, mm. take that little have, from yes, me. That's yeah. what it is. If I can gift you big, take the big. If I, mean, I can give you small, take the small. No, guys, you know, we, 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 no, we, are, we all agree on no, something. It's so no, no, weird. No, no, Why we all agree? Is, no, my question <laughs> is, what position is she putting herself uh, for people to know that she's married? And they still feel comfortable enough gifting our things. Okay, so you know what is so at this you point, know what's scary. Well, well, you know what's scary. At this point, do you know what's scary. We also need to hold. We also need to hold the men accountable. <laughs> hold on, men. Let me let me tell you. No, hold on. Hold on. Let me tell you what's scary. Hold on. Let me tell you what's scary. What is scary is the fact that why is it that it it was this woman that put up that statement? Because she knows that something. Because she thinks it's it's all right. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. She was seeking validation. This is this is my opinion. This is my opinion. Sometimes people try to justify their actions, and it's easier for women to get away with these things. Looking for validation to back it up. Exactly. It's easy for them to look to get these kind of things. Now there was a lot of statements that were made in that video because a lot of women and I, to an extent, I could understand where they were saying, as long as they declare it, you get me. If their husband. If, if they get gifted and they declare these things to their husbands, yeah. it goes to show that they have nothing, they, they have no investment in the person or the gift. As okay. long as they declare it. If somebody, for example, like you said, if somebody buys you a car or buys you a phone and you don't hide it from your husband, but you're open with your husband to say, ah, look at what people are giving me. 
Do you understand? Mm. So they now feel as if if the man doesn't accept it, that's where the insecurity thing. Thank you. Oh, thank is, you it, uh, is it about insecurity? Right, is it about insecurity? All right, guys. No insecurity. Insecurity. All right, guys. There's, still, there's still more we're going to talk about because we're still talking about something very important. And this has to do with, you know, um, deal breakers. That's why it's all tied together. All right, we'll take a quick break. When we return, the Black Table continues with the main topic for the night. Okay, guys, welcome back. It's still the Black Table. Yes, we're caught there talking about, you know, some you of the things. This now, this I have to read out so that everyone can understand the context of um, why we're talking about this. We just talked about um, our Thank gifts, um, <laughs> giving our gifts to, you know, married women is a no-no. I think men generally should so stop that. that yeah. Do not give out gifts to married women. And women should also know that, you know, it's not... A thing you can't do that you can't receive gifts from men while you're married I mean you're ready so that's why we're talking about you know deal breakers in marriages today I'm just gonna read this out so everyone gets unless, unless, the idea of why we're talking for the both of you no let's not go into you know the clauses there but let me just read this out about 3% of marriages in Nigeria are dissolved through divorce or separation so it is evident from the results of this that um, there are large variations in marital dissol um, dissolutions across regions and states. Uh, in, in some of the research that I did and from what I found out, uh, 86% of women uh, you know, who are currently married uh, you know, are either in this marriage or the relationship um, through informal unions. Um, um, about 2.8% are widowed, 1.2% uh, Divorce, so they all fall under the statistics. About 85% of women and married people generally remain in their first union, meaning that after they get married, they stick to it through thick and, and true. Yep. And but research from the past two decades says otherwise. It shows that between 20 to 25% of married men cheat, yeah. and between 10 and 15% of married women cheat. So if cheating is no longer really a deal breaker, if 3% of marriages in Nigeria are dissolved, just 3%, what is a deal breaker? And of course, we started with, you know, a woman receiving uh, gifts while she's married. So, Dec, let's start with you. What do right. you think is a deal breaker? In so, you know, the marriage? thing is this, right? Um, I was having a conversation with my wife uh, yesterday about somebody, a very yeah. close person to us. And she spoke about the fact that these people are on the brink of, you know, going apart. Yeah, yeah, she didn't yeah. say divorce. She said going yeah, apart. apart. Okay. And I said, okay. What you must understand is that it is not about cheating. Mm. I, can, I can assure you. You see, the bulk of people who actually eventually talk about the fact that the deal breaker is the fact that I caught him cheating mm. or I caught her cheating. It's not that it was cheating. Cheating mm. was when they now realize that, okay, I can use this as an excuse to leave. Okay. There is always a build-up of different issues. Mm. All right? Now, that build-up is what now accumulates and says that, okay, you know what? I'm tired of this. I can't take this anymore. Mm. All right? So one of the things that I, you know, I do with my wife is we like to communicate. All right? When something is not going right, talk about it. You talk about it because for every time that you talk about it, you are able talk to move past a number it. of things. Mm. If you bottle up things, all right? Hold that thought. If you bottle up things, don't bottle up, don't bottle up things, okay. yes. Go because ahead. we Go would ahead. actually do a review of everything. <laughs> if you bottle Please. up things, right, mm. you realize that at the end of the day, it's like, it's like a child that is about to cry. Mm. It's trying to hold back that tear. Mm. You know, to hold back that tear. Okay. And then somebody just steps on his leg and then so, it begins so from to my sob. understanding what you're you saying, what is I'm saying communication is key so communication, is, communication key. is a deal breaker no, no no that's not the deal it's 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 a it well yeah because we need communication to is okay so communication is actually a deal, deal breaker all right communication is a deal breaker because fact, from, communication from i feel yeah. is a is a major deal breaker and i'll tell you why People don't know how to communicate. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know how to navigate. They don't know how to navigate <laughs> that understanding. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's important to understand that your communication, you see, communication is very different. Mm. All right? Yeah. There's different there's a difference between ah, oh, you are you are mm. you are you are you are a silly person and you are silly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a difference between you are you are silly. Mm. You are very silly and you are very silly. Mm. 
It's the same mm. sentence. It's okay, the so same it's sentence, the same sentence in different contexts. One carries some, so communication some is very yeah. key. In so, your communicating with your partner, you must understand that you can't leave gaps. You can't mm. say that, ah, we're not going to talk about this issue. We'll move on to the next. So no. Identify, identify one, it. Um, one of the deal breakers. That's it. Gang, what do you think is a deal breaker in today's <sighs> marriage? And the reason why we're saying marriages is because... Today, yeah. Not my marriage. In, today. <laughs> of course, in marriage. Because at, at well, some point, I won't lie to you, like, it, let me say, for example, in my marriage, I always told myself I was in it for the long haul. I was, so, like, I was like, nothing could happen. So this if, is till death, if, literally if till... something... Until has, I realize I don't want to die. Okay, if... No, exactly. Let's take death out of the picture. Understand? Because then you don't have a choice. So you don't but have a choice. Let's put it this way. Let's say your partner steps out on you. That's that, not, that's, is that a deal breaker for you? It's not a deal breaker for me. Okay, so that's been sorry, established. Sorry, sorry, stop. This is the oh, second no, no, no. time and I've, I've said, gang I've said saying this. this. I just want on to know that. I've said it before. So yes, I've said it before. I just want to know that. Mm. Gang has said it. This is the second time. I've not said it. The first time I've said it. Okay, so that's not a deal breaker. So what's the deal breaker for you? See, there's a level of in when infidelity gets to a certain level that's in your face. That's when you can now say, "I'm not taking this." Okay, so she has to do it like many times. No, <laughs> not, not that, but see, listen, I, I'm, I'm somebody that I, I believe in second chances. Okay. And I believe everybody makes mistakes. Everybody okay. Does, yeah. Okay. You get me? Okay. Everybody makes mistakes. There's ways, and I say this sometimes, and people always argue with me. I say there are certain ways that a wife pushes her husband to do certain things. And her husband also pushes his wife to do certain things. Absolutely. So they're also part of the blame when it comes to certain atrocities that were committed. I'm yeah. not trying to justify anybody's actions. Mm. So deal breakers mm. for me would be the way you treat me in public. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? The way you talk to me, what comes to respect and other things. Mm. The way you even raise the kids. Okay. The way you even treat the kids. The way we... Communication is there as well. Yeah. I, uh, secrecy is another thing that I feel should not exist. Okay. Yes. Which is also communication. Yeah. Yeah. It should be as open as possible. As a, as a book. Yeah. As open as possible. Once there's a, there's a slight chance of things are being hidden, okay. kept aside, that, that's my, those are my deal breakers. Okay, Akolo Afemi. What do you think are deal breakers? Because everyone that, has you know, mentioned a few things, but no, there's something I'm waiting for. No, but I think something that, I want to hear. So I think that on social media, you would, social media will have you believe that deal breakers are well spelled out. Mm. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. It doesn't. Mm. Different marriages have different deal breakers. Absolutely. Deal breakers as individual. What's a deal breaker in your house? Is a walk in the park in my house? Absolutely. Okay. Like, there are men that will tell, there are women that will tell you on social media that if my husband cheats on me, that's the end of the marriage. It's a lie. Mm. Some of them, their husband has cheated on them more than three times. Because yeah. for them, they don't think that that's enough reason for them to break off the union. Okay. Like, they might look at it that, Okay, if he's scoring 90% and this is the 10% where he's failing, yeah. I'll overlook it. Yeah. There are men that will tell you that if, I mean, you just said it. Yeah. And you realize that. What did he say again? If my partner, <laughs> step, if my partner steps out on me, it's not a deal breaker. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so, you, that's <laughs> why notes come in. No, no, so, but, so but the, the thing is, and it makes you understand that reality is completely different from social media exactly if you go on by social media if it doesn't call you at certain hours oh no it doesn't love mm. you like those things no are sense. just they're just, they're just there mm. reality is reality and i think that most people look at their partners and you access them not access like you mm. access them then mm. not access right mm. on their strengths now if i would marry to for example a woman that likes to say hang out with her friend parties with her yeah. friends and I feel like, oh, that's something that I don't like. Mm -hmm. But she scores 100 in every other thing. Yeah. You would find yourself overlooking that one. Because, because it, she let's covers be every realistic, other area. we're all humans. Mm -hmm. And you too, you, there are places where you drop the ball as well. Mm -hmm. So deal breakers as individual as their marriages. Mm -hmm. There are no set rules that, oh, if you do this, your marriage will end. If you do, I mean, I know someone happily married. They have three kids. Mm -hmm. And responsible guy, by the way. Yeah. And, I mean, we thought it was responsible at that point. And then, only to find out that he had two kids outside. And the wife knew. And they're still married. Hmm. They're still married. And the wife is not a... This thing that you said just reminded mm. me of it's, something. No, but it's, it's the... Because my wife actually told me some deal breakers when we were dating. No, oh, it's just really? what it is. They were what? She said if I had a kid outside, it wasn't going to work. Oops. Okay. That's a deal and breaker. she also she also told me one time that if during the court if now that we're together, if I should make that mistake and 
father another kid outside. That's it's, the end. It's, okay, so because... Th and because this, I, I stay faithful, and you know, I've never... I've, the most yes, faithful, the most man, faithful in man in Lagos. That's yes. not going to happen. I, I, so, love, I love it when no, they say so, that. So, so. You, so the, problem, the problem with the most faithful man in Lagos is that... What about other Nigeria. territories? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> other there are 36 states, yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're in Lagos. This show is a Lagos show. Let's get it. <laughs> Lagos show. Dirk, Dirk went to Kano, and women were saying they watched the show. It's because he's premium everywhere. <laughs> okay. And when he navigates the 36 states, <laughs> <States, laughs> a lot of things <laughs> And they allow him to access all the all, states yeah. and capitals. <laughs> so that's Dirk. I don't even know what you're talking about, You guys. know. What are you saying, man? Okay, so Dirk, you need to stop accessing all the states and capitals. We are not accessing it. <laughs> but yeah, I feel one of the major deal breakers uh, that we really didn't touch on is something we've talked about several mm. times here, and that's if a woman has a child by another person and brings it into your home. Mm. I, I, think that's are, a, I think mm. that's a major deal breaker. There are men that don't have is a problem it? with it. Yeah, but I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because... Wait, wait, wait. I'm so sorry. What, you, no, 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 I'm not, the, no, way you said, the way you said it yeah. is like... That's your opinion. wife will go out and get pregnant and bring it back to the house. Is that men, what you're saying? Based, based on, that, based on recent don't... conversations. No, based on show. Before you, yeah, she had a kid yeah. say... before you guys. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying she that had a she like, presents dude. the child that is not yours. The old DNA talk that is going on everywhere around the world. There are, men, are you married there are men already that... or you you met her with a child? That's They're, they're two different things. No. Okay. If you're married to a woman saying, and she goes out and yeah. gets pregnant to you my, know, my have a child on this but that's not yours, that is a different thing in time. And I can tell you that there are still men that don't have a problem with it. No, 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 no. I'm still going back to the DNA or no DNA. Oh, you find out that your know. children are not yours. You find out that your children are not yours. Uh, uh. Okay, is, it, is that a deal breaker for you? That's yes. murder that's, one. That's, thank you. Is that a deal breaker yes, for that's you? That's murder one. That's a deal breaker. Is that a deal breaker for you? I'm okay. a traditional man. All right. Yeah. So, but we've said it so on the show before. So we all agree that. on it that. Now. That's so a deal breaker. That one is not that but, standard now. But for me to find a woman mm. that has a kid, mm. all right, and, you know, I'm supposed yeah. to marry her. No, when person. you find okay, out your you know child what, guys, is not yours. We need to quickly take messages that we received. Go for it. So that we can wrap up. Wow, I reject that. we have little, little or no time. So I'm going to take this without the break. So from Adgogo, Gogo, says, this Kora's case is honestly exhausting. Very yeah, I mean, very, very. We, very. We, we can't advise on this one because we really don't know what's going on. Then the next uh, tweet I have here is from Atofla. Thank you, gang, for bringing a case of cheating back. I thought the internet never forgets. Uh, okay, that's still on the Kora case. Because mm. it is that y'all... I've uh, forgotten that Cora coming out to admit she cheated on her ex. Okay, that's yeah. um, what Gang said earlier mm. about Cora, you know, coming on social media to say. So we have at Sholari, uh, people can complain and their veins will pop out. Girls are in Ruga's DM begging for this opportunity. Absolutely. Now that's talking about the Ruga story. Uh, we have uh, at Fifi, uh, it's how these children with their growing, okay, I can say this, prick. Mm. Think life begins and ends with ta 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 rubbish. That's from at Fifi. Then at Raffaele. Abortion may be a sin, but in this economy, I totally agree with Etinosa. Yeah. That's Raffaele's yep. um, uh, feedback on that. Then we have at TJ mm. Gang. Are you kidding me? Wow. How is having kids a selfish act for intentional parents who can afford to give them the best life? You are basically serving this cuties. I don't know what this means, but that's what we have here. We have at Fola Jo, um, just like your guys. And, uh, okay, just like you guys. I've asked Tokwe Makodigwe. Eh? Okay, Tokwe Makodigwe is actually one of the ladies on your view. So uh, at Fola Jo knows Tokwe. She says, just like your guys, I've asked Tokwe Makodigwe. Let me also use loudspeaker to say it again. Is she okay with her husband gifting or collecting gifts from other damsels? Gang actually mentioned that. Yes. Uh, then that comes with a wink. Uh, at solutions, Tory, at solutions underscore Tory says, I agree with Deck. Communication is an absolute deal breaker. It is. Uh, some partners just have annoying ways of passing information to one another. Then we have at Aga. Hello, the mayor of Agungi. You're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble. They're coming for you. You will think cheating is not a deal breaker until you are slapped in the face with it. It is well, Sha. Wow, I hope that never happens. It won't happen. Okay, okay good. Too. Yes. That and then we have experience. finally at Volturi. Her rich uncle has capped everything, honestly. There are no set rules when it comes to deal breakers. Yeah. Wow. 
I had to read that <laughs> very fast. But yeah, um, I think we all, all submitted some very interesting takes on all of this. Lots. I, I've, I've learned a game from Deck, yes. and because of that, Deck will be taking the our, tip. our tip. Just, yes. It's just the, just the just tip. tip. You can Pull go out in, when you, know, you, you have to. You can go in, it's okay. Just Please. the tip. Just the tip. All right. And yes. you know your tip is very eh? big, so... <laughs> just just <laughs> remember... <laughs> Remember to pull out, okay? All right, that's all right. The camera over there. All right, guys, real quick, it is important to understand, like I said, that communication is key in everything that you do. Communication is key in marriage, it's also key in interpersonal relationships. Whoever it is that you're communicating with, make sure you communicate properly. Have a good one. Wow, wisdom. Did we take notes on that one? Oh, that's, it's, okay, don't worry. Find the episode on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. It's been wonderful having you gentlemen here this evening. It's been a beautiful Friday night. Mm. And I'm just going to say what I've learned to start saying now. But I didn't learn that from Deck. I learned it. I'm not. I, I didn't I, learn I'll it from give Deck. It flower. Yes, mm. but Deck, thank you. Thank you so much for having wow. me. Thank you so much. Another 10 thank years. I'm I'm very well <laughs> wow, wisdom. <laughs> I'm very good. Thank you. It's been such a lovely evening. And uh, so we'll be doing this again Thank next you. week, Friday. Remember, guys, the darker the night, the brighter the stars. Mm -hmm. Do have a good night. I suppose right now. <laughs> Thank you.